This is question two of the 2019 level two electricity exam. Right. Um, Manu thinks that he could use an electric field in space to slow down a rocket ship. His model, uh, he models his idea by setting up a pair of parallel plates 1.2 meters apart. Um, he connects them to a 550 kilovolt supply, uses tool, uh, was it? Use a small toy rocket as a trial. Mass of the rocket's 130 grams. On the right hand, kilograms, 0.13. Kilograms, you should always do this because everything needs to be SI units. This is times 10 to the 3 because it's 55 kilovolts, so it's 1000, and that's SI units as well. Right, calculate the strength of the electric field um, between the plates. So on your formula sheet, um, you should have the electric field is E, and it's a vector quantity, it's not energy. The energy has got a delta in front of it, which is that funny triangle, um, and that is equal to it's equal, equal to F. Q, wait, no, no, it's not. F divided by Q, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's also equal to V <coughs> divided by D. Right, I don't have any forces in there. I do have a charge, um, but what I do have is I have a voltage and a distance. So it's just gonna be 550 times 10 to the three um, divided by, because this is kilovolts, so it's 550,000. You can write 550,000. Um, divided by what's of our distance separation distance is 1.2 meters 2 meters and that equals 458,333 um, so what I'm going to write how am I going to write this ah, I'll write it out 458 comma because we're not German um, 3.3 Point three. Uh, what's the units? Field strength. So it's volts per meter, or you could have newtons per coulomb. It has two units. Um, so now we're going to have down here. I'm going to put a hat on top because it's a vector equals. I'll round this to what is it? Two SF. Yeah, because everything else is two. Uh, Four sixty, comma 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 uh, volts per meter. And you could have had how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. You could write four. 0.6 times 10 to the 5, whatever. Um, right, during one test, the rocket was initially moving at speed V, um, and then it was stopped in distance D. Explain in depth what happened to the stopping distance if the rocket was tested again um, at double the initial speed and the same charge. So this is, it's had kinetic energy, and it's getting slowed down by, hold on, wait. Moves me. Okay, it's getting slowed down by electric potential. So it's essentially, it must have like a, this rocket must have a positive charge. So it's getting slowed down with a positive charge. Yeah, so that, that definitely must be how it works. Um, so essentially we're trading kinetic energy for electric potential energy. Because um, then it could actually just fall back the other way, um, unless I switched it off. So we have, um, in your formula sheet, I'm going to find it here actually. Where is it? We have, this is the potential energy, um, EQD. So we have delta EP equals E, this is the electric field, charge times the distance, and that's gonna be equal to half MV squared. Now, what would happen to the stopping distance um, if the rock was tested again at double the initial speed? So we're gonna have, um, we're trying to rearrange the distance. So we'll just divide both sides by E and Q. So we're gonna have distance, is equal to uh, half m, and now we're going to chuck the two in. So we're going to go two v squared over q d, and now you can see this is equal to half uh, m four v squared over q d, and we can see it's going to go four times as far because now originally it was just this equation. Um, this one. Well, it was originally like this one here with that rearranged underneath. Um, so we can just say doubling. Uh, I might just pause and write this out. All right, so you see doubling the velocity quadruples the kinetic energy, so stopping distance will be four times the original distance. What a walker. Right, um, draw field lines between two plates. Cover this will be unachieved because that's pretty easy. This. Maybe merit, possibly excellence. Pro should be an excellence, but it'd probably just be a merit. 
Um, this will be a merit, which is crazy easy for a merit mark. Um, so you're gonna have two parallel plates. So we're gonna, at the very edge here, we're gonna use, I hope you can see that. Yeah, you need to use a ruler for this. Don't not use a ruler and don't overdo it. Uh, and make sure all the spacings are even. I'm just sort of eyeballing it because your examiner is getting paid $3 like 80 a paper. So he's just gonna eyeball it too. He's not gonna get a ruler and measure it. That would be insane. Um, and the field lines go from positive to negative. Man, you're lucky given the positive right there, eh? So field lines run from positive to negative. So we're just gonna chuck arrows neatly, as neat as we can, like that. Yeah, and now this would probably get us the achieved. This here would get us the merit. When we chuck in our hoopy ones to here, and our hoopy ones here, like that. There we go. And you can probably overdo it and have massive ones going all around, um, but you don't need to worry about that. So you need to use a rule for that. Um, right. What have we got here? Next question. The maximum stopping distance for the given setup is 1.2 meters. What is the maximum speed the rocket can initially be moving at and still be stopped by this apparatus? Um, this is literally just going to be this the previous question. So we're going to have um, E P to uh, E K, yeah, and we're going to have E. This is electric field. Q D um, is equal to half M V squared. We ask, it's asking for the maximum speed, um, so we're going to rearrange for velocity. So essentially we're going to times both sides by 2 to get rid of the half. So we have um, 2EQD, that would have been equal to half, that would have been equal to MV squared, but I'm going to divide both sides by M as well. Yeah, equals V squared, and now we can see V is equal to square root, 2EQD over the mass. Right. The maximum stopping distance is 1.2, so that's what the, the distance we're going to chuck in. Um, and that's just going to be equal to square root 2 times, what is that, electric field 460? 4.6 times 10 to the, what is it, 6 or 5 I think, 5 times 1.2 divided by, what's the mass, 100, 0.13. Three. When I do this on my calculator, I'm going to use a previous number. Right, and as you can see, I've got 5.4419. Um, I used the full number in my calculation, but I just chucked the rounded number because I'm lazy. I don't want to write the whole thing out. But you should always use the full unrounded numbers in your answer. So V equals 5.442. Um, um, meters per second and I've seen the answer schedule and I've rounded to 5.45 ah but this is close enough um, so I'm only going to round I'm going to round this to V equals 5.4 meters per second negative 1